CAU. If you're trying to grow your business, add diversity. It'll climb the tracks in university. When it comes to getting clients, you face adversity. You need to hit up, climb the tracks in university. Climb the tracks, 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 when it comes to getting clients, you face adversity. You need to hit up client attraction university. Paydadplaybook.com. That's P A I D ad playbook.com. Hey, what's up, my friend? Dr. Mark Horry Russell, the King of Client Attraction, and welcome to this brand new episode of the School of Client Attraction. Now, a common thing that I hear from clients and other individuals who aren't clients, a lot of people deal with overwhelm. Now, in, on, especially in the internet space, we're like with so much information coming to us every single day. There are so many books, right? There are so many courses to go through. There's so many events. There's so many coaching programs. So much stuff coming to us in the news feed every day. How do you deal with it? When there's so much to do, you begin to get overwhelmed. So I want to share with you, um, and I was sharing this with our marketing team, and I was like, you know what? I think this would be a great podcast episode. So basically, I want to share with you how I deal with with overwhelm when I'm experiencing it, right? So one of the ways, so it's two things I understand. Number one, most people deal with overwhelm because they aren't implementing. All they're doing is consuming information. So if you're just consuming, you're not implementing. That means you're you're overfilling that bucket. You're overfilling your information bucket. So you want to have two buckets. You want to have an information bucket and you want to have an implementation bucket, right? So you want your implementation bucket to be more full or to be fuller right? Then your information bucket. If your information bucket is full, but your implementation bucket is empty, you're going to be overwhelmed. So you want to be implementing as you consume this information. So that's number one the thing to just be aware of. Now, here's how I deal with the over- overwhelm outside of implementation. So I get stuff out of my head. So I'm, I'm, I'm type of person. I get stuff out of my head. I create a checklist. So I'm like, okay, what? So I, I started to fill it and I'm like, okay, it's a lot, lot to get done, right? So for example, recently, um, we're working on some big projects. So it's some videos that we had to create. So it's a lot of different. I'm actually in the studio right now and I actually got a whole list of videos right here. Right. So I was like, okay, it's a lot of videos we got to create for the podcast. Some videos we got to create for this campaign. We got some videos we got to create for this. So it was all in my head. So I sat down and I got it all in my head. And now I'm, I feel lighter because it's not in my head taking my bandwidth. It's what's creating room from other stuff. And now it's on paper. So that's number one, getting the stuff out of my head. A way that I actually get stuff out of my head is twice a week I have on my calendar scheduled thinking time. So basically I carve out about 45 minutes, turn off the laptop, the phone, all that. And I just write, have a thinking time prompt that I sit down with one of the biggest thinking time prompts that I have. The prompt meaning a question is I'll say, okay, what has to be done? And this doesn't mean the stuff that I got to get done, but stuff that has to be done, period. And I know who to delegate stuff off to or what, you know, or for stuff that just don't need to be done at all. And I'll sit down and I get all this stuff out of my head. I sit down and within 45 minutes, I can have 30, 40, 50 things down in that particular time. This is stuff that was all in my head, but now I got it out of my head. So I sit down and I get the stuff out of my head. When was the last time you sat down and we just got the stuff out of your head and then just went through the list, checking it off one by one by one. So if you're dealing with overwhelm or if you ever deal with overwhelm, I want you to keep this tool that you can actually implement into your business. Now, if you want to get more leads and you want to get more clients, because obviously this is a school of client attraction, if you want to get more clients, I got two ways that we can actually help you do that. Number one, you can actually go get the paid ad playbook for 100% free. So you can go to paid at playbook.com. That's paid at playbook.com. Um, or you can simply text podcast, P O D C A S T, to 904 447 5274. It's 904 447 5274. You get a reply back. It'll actually for your first name. Send your first name. It'll actually for email. You send your email. And then from there, you can either take the game plan, go implement it on your own, find somebody else to help you implement it. Or if you decide you want us to help you implement it, you can let us know. And then we'll schedule another call to talk about how we can do it. Okay. Thank you so much for checking out this episode. Have a phenomenal day because you absolutely deserve it. Talk to you soon. What's the difference between you and mega successful coaches and consultants with a dream business? Simple. They're getting more leads than you are. What if there was a way to get 50 to 100 leads every single day like clockwork? Would you want it? 
then go to www.getdailyclients.com to access our paid ad playbook that has brought in millions of leads for our clients over the years on complete autopilot. This is the podcastfactory.com.